do for the next few minutes, I, I took the six action themes that we we're looking at through, during the conference, and I want to talk about two of them. I want to talk, talk about Imagine, and I want to talk about Create. Uh, with Imagine, I'd like to try to put you guys through the eyes of the students back in Caracas and the circumstances under which they're trying to find their opportunities and um, they're trying to find their own way. With Create, I'm going to try to talk to you about the work that we're doing to try to solve the issues to allow these students to go through, to, through these opportunities. Uh, about a couple of months ago, and during that time, I was trying to get my head around what I was going to say here today, and I was very, very unsuccessful. Um, just until last weekend, I started looking at some TED Talks and some, you know, some inspiring videos, and I ran through one from Brené Brown, where she talks about vulnerability. And uh, I think she was spot on on something, and she, she mentioned, uh, which I kind of related to, she mentions that, um, that we should fully embrace vulnerability because I believe that when we are in our bo most vulnerable place, that's when you can see who you really are and what you really believe in. So I'm going to try to, to show you what these students are in the vulnerable situation that they're in right now. So going forward to the project, uh, like Gavin said, I'm from Caracas. Um, our project is to try and uh, we're, we're working on a one-year project uh, program where we get students from public secondary schools, uh, the, the lessons that they should have learned during their five years before college and we're trying to sum them all up because uh, the reality is that when they try to compete through these uh, places, spots in college, they just simply can't compete with the private schools or the few good public schools that are out there. Um, the situation is that um, the schools or the environment that they have to live in is it's very, very hostile. I mean, all of the schools that we work with, which is 120, um, they have violence inside the schools. 90% of these schools have pregnant students. And again, all of the schools have teacher insufficiency. Which, I mean, there's a lack of teachers. These kids go there and simply there's no teacher there to teach them math. And they, get, they can go through two or three years uh, going to school and there's no math teacher there to, to show them anything. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. From this 100%, 40% is considered high risk violence, which means there's guns and knives inside the schools. Uh, you've got drugs, you've got infrastructure issues, and uh, the quality of the teachers is it's simply it's not enough for these kids. And, um, you know, going back to the themes, and I, I actually want to mention one more, which is, uh, if, I, if I want you to keep something from this presentation, it would be uh, this one. It's that the problem that, that it's happening here is not technological, because they, they have the, the, school, the computer labs, they, they can access the internet, they can go through all these on, online tools, it's not a technological problem. And I would dare to say it's not even an educational problem, which it is. It is very grave. I mean, like I said, the, the, the teachers simply don't know what they're giving because they don't have the education themselves to teach. The problem here, it's a social problem. The circumstances under which these students live, they just, it, there's no learning environment around them where they have to deal with these hostile situations. And that's what we're trying to do. And that, well, that's what I'm going to try to talk about, what we're trying to create uh, with this program. Um, so it's kind of part math, part, I mean, part math course, which is what we based on, on the educational part of, of, of the course, but also a social inclusion, because we have to go there and talk with these kids and try to find them a solution of, of what their problems, the real problems in their houses are, because they, they simply don't see a path of learning for, for them to grow. And, um, right now we're we're launching the online platform, so we're taking all of this content online, we're putting all the kind of academy videos, we've got all the interactive uh, applications and all the in online content. And again, this is not going to work if you're not solving their real problem, which is the social inclusion. And for that, we've got this Peace Ambassador program, which basically what we're trying to do is um, get these kids to be part of a program where they can start solving their solutions in their communities. So we're they feel part of a group that is trying to, do, to make a difference. We're trying to show them a path. Of, uh, we take them to the university as well so they can get into a more learning environment. They can see from themselves what it would be to, to go out there. And uh, qu quite honestly, we're just starting this now. Um, any ideas or suggestions are more welcome as well because I'm pretty sure we're going to run into many challenges. And the real big challenge that I see, and Joyko mentioned it this morning, is that without motivation, it doesn't matter what tool you have. You're simply not going to be using it because you don't have the, the, the thrive to, to go out there and to start learning. And doing these online courses, you can imagine sitting in front of a computer 
there is absolutely no motivation there, and these kids really need it because uh, they need inter human interaction with them. Uh, I guess that's, um, that's more or less what I'm doing, so thanks, thanks for listening.